What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we're jumping in the Audi RS6 Avant and we're actually going to take care of our very first uh, seasonal event here in Forza Horizon 5. Um, I think I'm just going to use one car for the event uh, this time just because there's literally so much to do. Um, but uh, like I said, we're using the Audi RS6 Avant. The share code for the tune that we have on it will be up on the screen now. Um, it's kind of hard to judge tunes right now because nobody is ranked highly because the game literally just came out. So uh, we're doing the, uh, what is this championship called? The first course. That is the championship name. You get the Mercedes AMG E or 63 so pretty neat um, another new feature that they added into this festival playlist is if I click in the right stick it'll toggle the car restrictions for those events so that's awesome to see and then you can see there the PR stunts have restrictions now as well which is cool so I'm actually not mad about that because it does add another level of um, challenge to it so um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the first course hey Brandon. championship. Thanks for turning out for the seasonals. I'll be sure to throw some extra challenges in there for you. All right, so we have to replace first against highly skilled drive guitars. So sprint, sprint, and a circuit race. All right, let's jump into it. Here we go. First seasonal event race. And we're underway. So we are racing against highly skilled drive guitars. I guess I should have double checked that, but um Yeah, you have to race against highly skilled drive guitars in these events to get the reward. This thing has some a whole heck of a lot of understeer. Um so that's fun. Again, it's hard to judge tunes right now. Um I just took this one because it said the word seasonal in it and you know it's a seasonal event so I thought I'd give it a shot. It may be better in the end, I may just need to get used to it first. But we'll see if we can't climb up the ranks here, we're about a third of the way through this race. Hopefully those two don't absolutely take off. The drive guitars in this game are definitely more difficult. Um, and it's maybe just more so that they need to be uh, reined in a little bit. Because I just got, I did the Goliath. Which may come in, or that video might come out after this video since this one's more of a time sensitive thing. Um, but the Goliath event I did with an S2 uh, car and got absolutely blown out of the water the first time. I think I came in, well, I say blown out of the water. It just seemed like I was never catching up. I think I came in fifth, but I mean, I could not catch up to the drive guitars. So then I tried it again. The first car I tried it in was the AMG one. So cover car, I was like, oh, this will be fun. And no, it was not fun. This thing has way, way too much understeer for my liking, uh, but ended up losing that bad and so I jumped into Centenario which you know should be able to handle it that was a terrible turn this is not a very good tune I don't think the understeer is just so strong in this but yeah I jumped in the Centenario and I won that one I couldn't I could not beat them on expert difficulty so I chucked, chucked it back down to highly di or highly skilled, and I was able to win in the last like 10% of the race. I was following the guy in second place um, for the majority or for all of the race, other than the last 10%. And then so I did it again, just to test. And, and yeah, it was the exact same thing. Like the first or the group of like top three just take off. So I don't know if that's just something. 
that we're gonna have to get used to or what but i wasn't driving awfully I'm not driving perfect but enough that i should have been able to keep up i think but anyway we won that race got 20 points in the championship so we're gonna go ahead and jump in to the next one all right here we go with race number two this is the circuit race um so we'll see what we can do here we've got three laps i don't think we'll have an issue just getting out the first will be our challenge Man, we messed that guy's roof up real bad. Just sliding into him like that. I wish there was a way you could change, like, the damage for the Drivatars as well. Because it can really ruin some screenshots. At least in Horizon 5, or 4, whenever you did, like, a screenshot, there's, like, the option to reset cosmetic damage. Um, but it didn't do it on the Drivatars, which is weird, so... Uh, there'd be a few times where they'd be damaged and kind of mess up a screenshot that would have otherwise looked pretty cool. This understeer, I should have changed tunes, quite honestly. That would have been the smart thing to do, but I might do that for the last race. We'll see. Because this thing is, uh, again, it's just too understeery for my, for my liking. But that is lap one in the books. I just tried to drift into that guy. Um, it didn't work out too well for either of us. He lost the position and I went into the wall, so I would say more so bad for me. I mean, if this was real life, I had been dead, but luckily it's not. It's Forza, right? And not just Forza, it's Horizon. My gosh, turn. Turn. Ugh. I feel like I'm driving a school bus. And I know it's not the car. It's literally just this tune. It just it's not allowing for it. Turn. We might not be able to get up in the first. Especially if I'm driving like that, right into the wall. Come on. Give us a draft. Ow. Oh. That ruined all of our speed there. I think that's the car we're competing for, I think. We'll have to check it at the end on the leaderboard, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that we win. We come in first in this. Big ol' plume of smoke for the Drivatars to drive through. the heck was that? They clipped my bumper and stopped me in my tracks. We somehow maintain first place. Okay, so that mural that we need is here. So, I need to remember that. After this race, I need to take a picture with it. Before we leave this place. Barely got that. But that is going to give us the win. The cinematics get me every time. That is such a cool way to end the race. Especially when you come in sideways and like almost hit the wall there. So. Alright. 20 more points for us. That is the yeah. The AMG E63. So that's what we're going for. Uh, but I'm gonna go get the picture with that the mural real quick. Um, because that's what the photo challenges for this season my friend so there are events on my race schedule that you haven't won yet you feeling okay <laughs> just kidding keep it up hey brandon right, so we can expand for you when you have time um let's see um let's do We'll do El Camino. Sure, why not? Another Horizon story, I think. Yes, Carmen is waiting. Tell her the 
shots of me are actually quite good. Okay, so let's find this um, mural real quick. I think I'm gonna need to swap cars. And here we are in the final race. So stupidly enough, I did not change the tune yet again, so I'm still balling on the very understeer heavy tune. But we'll see, we've been able to get first in the last two events, so we should be able to manage it enough to finish this out. But directly into the wall we go. So, come on, get out of the way. Get out of my way. Move, please. I go around? Yes. There we go. Got four people in front of us. Got three people in front of us. Yeah. One person in front of us and two in the wall behind us. <laughs> And now we're out in front. There we go. That's what we're looking for here. Okay. A bit of smoke show. Gotta make, like, I shouldn't be doing that with him that close. It's gonna make me lose. Especially if I do it around every corner, but. You know, that's fun. Look at that glare. Look at that glare. That's, that's crazy good. Uh, design there. Just the sun glistening off of their windshields. I need some sunglasses to start playing this game. Alright, let's go. 40% left. They think they're gonna make a run. I don't know if you saw that, but I did brake check the Dravatars just for the fun of it. I was very curious to see what they would do. Bounce off that wall. Because we cannot turn. Save our life. Uh, but we're reaching 90%. Ooh, two wheels. Ultimate e drift, drift tap. Got speed coming into Guanajuato. And across the, oh, whoa, up on two wheels again. That was a pretty dramatic ending. All right, first place. That's gonna complete that seasonal event. Let's see what it does as far as like a reward screen here. So 60 points. It's a winner. That's me. Yep. And the best thing about All right, seasonal so, events, seasonal rewards. There we go. First course. <laughs> Always fresh. Got the Mercedes AMG E63. And we ranked up. So we'll have a wheel spin here as well. Let's see what we get. All right. 458. That's actually my dream car. So we'll take that all day. Seasonal event complete. What did you think? Did you like it? Oh yeah. That's the sound right there. Very mean. All right. Well, that's where we'll end this video though. I hope you guys did enjoy or found the video helpful. Um, I guess, you know, Realistically, it probably wasn't too helpful on the fact that I wouldn't necessarily recommend that tune. Um, but that was our first experience with uh, a seasonal event here in Mexico in Horizon 5. So I just thought I'd figure, or I figured I'd just jump in and, you know, record it. And I know I didn't do the typical way of using three different cars and whatnot, but 
there's just literally so much stuff that I'm recording for this game right now um, that if I didn't just do one car, it would have taken a long time and would have kept from recording some other stuff on here. So, uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content, uh, just like this, only better, hopefully. Uh, but we will see you in the next video, and I do hope you have a great rest of your day.